Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how I mount orchids in a vivarium. In this case I've got two types of Matavalia orchids. I had them for over a year in my greenhouse and in that time they doubled up in size. So uh, I thought it was time to cut them in half and place one half in a vivarium and place the other half back in the greenhouse this spring so it can uh, grow a little bit further. After I uh, take them out of the pot I remove the dead sphagnum and I carefully cut them in half. I also check the, the root system if there were dead roots, damaged roots and I remove them with a sterilized scissor. After that I put them on a piece of fern root and cover them with some live moss. This live moss I grew uh, in, the, in the greenhouse in small plastic containers. It's a mix of sphagnum moss with other types of, of moss and um, I use them for my orchids and uh, the nepenthe species. I think it looks a, a little bit neater than uh, the dead sphagnum. Here you can see the other species. It's a Matavalia chester. It's got uh, much broader leaves than the previous one and it, uh, it's got white flowers. Here you can see I removed the dead sphagnum moss and then a little bit checking the root systems. And then I will cut them in half. After I cut it in half I had to remove some dead bloom spikes and then it was ready for mounting. Again I took some live moss, put it on the on the roots and then I put it on a piece of firm, a fern root. Always make sure that the roots of the orchids are in good contact with, this, uh, with the live moss and with the fern root so it can uh, grow further without any problems. So here's the vivarium. This vivarium is, uh, is about 40 centimeters wide and 60 centimeters high and is lit by two compact fluorescence tubes. It's best to use wooden toothpicks to attach the orchids to the walls of the vivarium. Make sure that you place the orchids in such a manner that as well is good for the orchids but also pleasing to the eye. Now it's time to let the orchids grow and hopefully in a few months they are back in bloom.